So imagine looking on the horizon and sunrise is half the sky. Okay, that would be terrifying. When we think about stars, we often picture them as small, shining dots in the night sky. That's how they look from our perspective on Earth. But in reality, stars are far from tiny. Some, like Betelgeuse, are much larger than our sun. Betelgeuse has intrigued scientists for a while. But recently, there have been unsettling changes happening with this massive star, causing concern among scientists and those in the know. Some scientists, including famous physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, believe that Betelgeuse might already have gone supernova. So join us today as we delve into the details of the concerning announcement made by Neil deGrasse Tyson that Betelgeuse might already have gone supernova. Betelgeuse has fascinated astronomers since the Middle Ages. Today, we know that this exceptional phenomenon is a star in the middle phase of its life. Without a doubt, Betelgeuse is one of the brightest and most noticeable stars in the night sky. Red and powerful, the star has inspired both poets and scientists alike. In the spirituality of many peoples of the Earth, the red supergiant holds a special position. Its brightness and radiant glow, like the entire constellation of Orion, were equated with heroic mystical figures around the globe. Betelgeuse stands as the main star in the Orion constellation. Normally, it shines at an average brightness of 0.5 magnitudes and carries a weight close to 20 times that of our sun. Currently ranking as the 10th brightest star in the night sky, it draws attention due to its transformation into a red supergent, causing a 50% increase in brightness through decay processes. Before this change, Betelgeuse was likely a less noticeable star in Oran. Our understanding of Betelgeuse is limited to these dimensions, and the transformation has likely been unfolding for hundreds of thousands to millions of years. It's possible that Betelgeuse, once much smaller, absorbed its entire planetary system during its metamorphosis. Imagine placing this colossal star in our solar system. It would easily stretch from the center to Jupiter. If it were to collapse, Earth would witness a spectacular event lasting only milliseconds. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has commented on the potential explosion of Betelgeuse, speculating why it might have already happened. While the idea of a supergiant exploding near Earth might concern astronomers, researchers are intrigued that Betelgeuse, at just 650 light-years away, offers a unique opportunity to witness this final event in a remarkable manner. After Betelgeuse emits its last rays of light into space, the star undergoes a massive collapse triggered by dwindling fuel reserves. This collapse occurs when the fuel drops below a critical amount, and on Earth, we can witness this captivating celestial event from a relatively close perspective. The earliest recorded supernova explosions visible from Earth happened in 1006 and 1054 AD in our galaxy. Many people across different cultures, including Chinese, Arabic, and Japanese, observed these events. They witnessed a bright light in the sky that continued to shine for weeks or months. In 1987, a supernova erupted in our neighboring galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Despite being 170,000 light-years away, the collapsed star named Sandulik 69202 flared up brightly and was briefly visible from Earth. Sandalik minus 69202, a blue supergiant with about 17 solar masses, marked the last supernova visible from Earth with the naked eye. While telescopes enable researchers to occasionally observe such events in more distant regions, star explosions remain rare occurrences and are not extensively explored. As Betelgeuse approaches its final event, the star will gradually brighten as the energy inside intensifies. From Earth, we would notice the brightness and size of the star dramatically increasing each night. Betelgeuse would temporarily become the brightest star in the night sky. The big increase in brightness happens because of chemical changes inside the star. When the star runs out of fuel, it burns other elements or undergoes unusual fusions. Our sun, which is on the lighter side, is mostly made of hydrogen. But some stars burn heavier gases, 
and in the case of massive stars with many times the mass of our sun, they can even produce iron toward the end of their life. Once everything in the star has been burned up, the gas and radiation pressure inside drop significantly. The star's gravity then makes it collapse. During this collapse, there's a huge energy release, throwing matter and gases into space. For a short time, the star shines brighter than an entire galaxy. If Betelgeuse collapses, the entire sky will light up for a moment, making night look like day. If it happens at night, it'll be a brief flash, and during the day, it could be so bright that you might need to shield your eyes. This super bright moment won't last long, but it might briefly disorient drivers or pilots due to the intense light. Scientists will try to predict the final explosion as accurately as possible. The intense brightness fades quickly, but a noticeable glow lingers for weeks or months where Betelgeuse used to be. Eventually, the light fades entirely, leaving behind a neutron star or potentially an unseen black hole from Earth's perspective. The constellation Orion loses a star permanently. Neil deGrasse Tyson suggests that Betelgeuse may have already exploded. Explaining to interested viewers, he points out that the light we currently see from Betelgeuse has been traveling for 650 years before reaching us. The light from the final explosion, while much more intense, still takes the same time to reach us, 650 years after the event. If we were to witness the explosion this year, it means Betelgeuse had already exploded when we weren't even born. Going back 650 years from 2023 takes us to 1373. In 1363, Germany faced crisis under Emperor Charles IV, with nobles murdered and disputes among bishops and the Pope. Castilian noble Henry I captured parts of present-day Spain and Portugal. In China, it was the year of the water buffalo, and a war over the state religion of Buddhism rage. If they looked up at Orion, a stellar companion to warriors throughout history, they'd see the constellation consistently shining in the night sky. Surprisingly, no one would have noticed the explosion. Tyson pointed out that Betelgeuse is showing signs of instability. Noticeable changes in brightness and shape have put Earth's astronomers on high alert. A Japanese study supports this, with a research team from the University of Tokyo presenting their findings in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, suggesting Betelgeuse's end might be closer than we thought. Even statistics hint at an imminent explosion, as two to three massive stars typically go supernova per galaxy per century. The Milky Way's last supernova occurred 400 years ago, making the new explosion long overdue statistically. Recent alterations worry scientists. In 2019, researchers using the Very Large Telescope observed significant changes around Betelgeuse. The optical spectrum initially displayed roughly symmetrical lines, but the photospheric layer showed signs of substantial disturbance. The photosphere, the star's outer layer emitting visible light, exhibited a clear expansion, adding to the intrigue. Throughout the year, the expansion kept going at a steady speed of around 5 miles per second. This is quite a bit, causing the star to swell significantly. In mid-November 2019, the flow of material to the outer layers slowed down. New optical images of the star revealed two surprising changes. In the southern hemisphere, a darkened area appeared, creating a sharp contrast to the earlier image. Simultaneously, the star's surface temperature dropped by about 144 degrees Fahrenheit. Between January 27 and February 13, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness hit an unprecedented low, about a year after the material flow had stopped. Scientists were puzzled, and some thought the star might be entering its final phase. However, Betelgeuse gradually returned to its usual size. Researchers figured out that Betelgeuse had just undergone a regular stellar event called surface mass ejection. This phenomenon is somewhat like the coronal mass ejections we see on our sun. Think of it like a stellar volcanic eruption, just happening on the scale of a star. With Betelgeuse, 
everything was a bit bigger and more unusual compared to other stars in the universe. Material that surges up and outward from the star's interior during an eruption creates substantial shock waves in its atmosphere. As time passes, molecules and dust form from this material, partially blocking our view of the star and making it appear darker. In the case of Betelgeuse, the ejection led to a mass expulsion 400 billion times greater than in other stars. This event impressively showed that a star in its final life phase can undergo a significant mass loss, far beyond the regular yearly ejection caused by the stellar wind. It's almost like Betelgeuse forcefully tossed out its outer layers and is slowly recovering from the aftermath. The entire behavior of the star changed after this dimming event. Betelgeuse used to alter its brightness every 400 days. Now, it pulsates every 200 days. Computer simulations aim to illustrate how Betelgeuse will continue to evolve. These new observation data tweak the parameters for predictions and scientific findings. People on Earth eagerly monitor the star's changes daily. But what about you? Can you imagine how fascinating it is that researchers are studying a star that might not even exist anymore? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe for more.